name is Dan Callahan. I'm with Callahan and Blaine in Santa Ana, California. I'm a trial lawyer, and I specialize in business law as well as contractual breaches. So if you're watching this YouTube, you may be watching it because you entered in a contract with someone you wish you hadn't. What is a breach of contract? Well, a contract creates certain obligations that are to be fulfilled by the parties. Well, if one party fails to fulfill their obligations, you have a breach. If you have a breach, you have a right and a remedy. What do you do? Well, first time, try to be more careful with who you enter a contract with. Do some background research on the individual or the company to make sure this is not a pattern for them. If someone has really failed to live up to their obligations in a contract, you can recoup any damages you've suffered. Now, damages can be lost profits, can be lost investment money while you're waiting for the other side to, to perform. What you need to do is to document all of your damages as best as you can. Then it's a good idea to try to go to the other side and see if you can mediate this dispute. See if you can work it out without the necessity of filing a lawsuit. Filing a lawsuit should be the last choice. You should try to try to work it out first because that will cost you less money and be a quicker resolution, if at all possible. Filing a lawsuit depends how much money is at stake. Well, if we have a breach of contract, and really it's something small, like under $10,000 in most states, that would be a small claims issue. Small claims is quicker, cheaper, and there are no lawyers involved. If it is over $10,000, you have to look at what remedies can I achieve? Well, typically the primary remedy is damages, the amount that you lost, the gain you should have had but you didn't have. That's damages. But there's another. It can be rescission and restitution. Rescission is, okay, let's cancel the contract, make it void, and give me back everything I paid you. Or give me back everything I put out because I was relying on this contract. There's also specific performance. Now, specific performance is only when you have an asset that's unique that you're being deprived of, such as real estate. Let's say you enter a contract to purchase a piece of real estate, the seller breaches, you can seek specific performance and have that property deeded over to you. Those are the three benefits when you file a lawsuit. But you should also check before you file, you should see if your contract requires you to mediate first. If so, and if you don't mediate first, you may lose the right to recover attorney's fees. Another good way to get a quick resolution is to arbitrate. Some contracts provide that you have to arbitrate the dispute. If you go to arbitration, you're gonna waive your right to a jury trial. But the benefit is that you'll have a quicker result. Uh, you'll appear in front of usually a retired judge in a conference room, and you'll get basically the same result. And in a contract, there are no right to, to punitive damages but you can recover your attorney's fees. Now that you've made the decision to file a complaint, you have to hire an attorney, a competent business litigation attorney. That's why we're here. We're waiting for the phone to ring. So who are you gonna hire? Well, probably not your friend, your neighbor, or relative, because although they may be good friends of yours, they're often inexperienced in the area. You need to hire somebody who is an expert in business litigation. How do you do that? Well, there are online sources. You can go ahead and go to Super Lawyers. You can go to Best Lawyers in America, or Martindale and Hubble has something called Preeminent Lawyers. Once you find somebody who's an expert, who's usually in the top 2% in the area, in the area of practice and your locale, then look up their website. Look up their website and see what great verdicts and settlements they've achieved. Keep in mind, now lawyers, if they've done something good, they put it on the website. So if you don't see anything on the website about great victories, they probably don't have any. So now you've picked a lawyer, and a lawyer who's gonna represent you, you have to come to an agreement on fees. I handled a business litigation case that lasted for three months in front of a jury. We got a unanimous verdict for $934 million. That's experience. If you see something like that on their webpage, that's the person you wanna hire. Thank you. I hope what I've had to say has been helpful for you. 
And if it has been, if you liked it, well, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the like button.